One of my favorite movies of all time, in spite of some of its historical inaccuracies, is Saving Private Ryan. In the past 50 years, there's probably not been another uh, movie that has been more influential than Saving Private Ryan as far as getting people interested in World War II and D-Day and the Battle of Normandy and things like that. Well, there's a scene in Saving Private Ryan where Captain Miller and the guys who were looking for James Francis Ryan uh, walk up on this glider crash and they talk to the pilot and he talks about how uh, they had loaded it up with a Jeep and uh, they were trying to, you know, fly a general in and, you know, they say for one man, he's like, yeah, one man. Uh, well, that part of the movie was actually based on a true story. There was a glider that was loaded up with a Jeep with a general sitting in it named General Pratt that crashed on D-Day uh, right here in Normandy. Today, we're going to be going to the spot where that crash took place and look at some of the artifacts associated with the death of General Pratt. The memorial that we are standing at right now is the Pratt Memorial. And in the field behind the memorial, this is where General Don Pratt's glider crashed on D-Day, killing him, making him the highest ranked American general who was killed on D-Day. And uh, we'll just take a moment to read the memorial here. It says, before dawn, June 6, 1944, Brigadier General Don F. Pratt, Assistant Division Commander, 101st Airborne Division, United States Army, was killed when his glider crashed 250 meters east of this point. He was the first general uh, Allied Forces officer killed in the liberation of France. So right back here in this field, the scene from Saving Private Ryan uh, was actually based on a real story that, that happened right here in the early morning hours of June 6th. And Eric has actually brought an artifact along that is associated with this tragedy. We're standing near the village of Heesville in Normandy, France. We're about one kilometer away. And on June 6, 1944, this general area was a scene of multiple glider landings. And um, in my left hand, I have a data plate from one of those gliders that landed that day. And this is from a Horsa glider, which was a larger glider and they were actually British but Americans were using them and the data plate had all the information about the aircraft and it was recovered very near this very spot. In my right hand I have some relics from another glider that crashed right behind me and it was actually from a Waco glider and what we have here is a strut from the wing and a seat belt assembly. And the reason I brought this here is these, these relics are from the crash of General Pratt. General Pratt was the highest ranking general to be killed on D-Day. He was the, um, in the 101st Airborne and he was a paratrooper, but they came up with an idea to have him ride in a glider instead of jumping out of a plane like a normal paratrooper because of his age and his importance. And they actually had him in a Jeep in, in this uh, Waco glider. And many years ago, I found out who had the relics from General Pratt's glider. 
and uh, I tried to get them for a long time and I finally was able to obtain them from the museum a few about three years ago and um, I decided to bring them back here today to the site where General Pratt's glider crashed in 1944. Well, those are just a few of the crash relics of the General Pratt crash that are at the Gettysburg Museum of History. And when I say a few, I really mean a few. Uh, there are literally boxes of crash relics that are back at the museum, but of course we couldn't bring boxes with us. Uh, now, the, the Gettysburg Museum of History isn't the only place that has uh, artifacts that are connected with General Pratt. The D-Day experience right here in Normandy also has some stuff. So we're going to hop back in the vehicle, jump over to the D-Day experience, and see what they have that is connected with the crash and death of General Pratt. All right, so we've made our way over to the D-Day experience at Dead Man's Corner, which is one of my favorite museums ever. And, and they have some, some relics here that are also tied to the crash of General Pratt. Now, here in the D-Day experience, they have all kinds of amazing artifacts and displays. And one that I really like is this cutaway of uh, General Pratt's glider. So here you can see the, the Jeep inside the glider with him in the passenger seat. And uh, in early morning hours of June 6, about four in the morning, uh, General Pratt, Pratt's glider uh, touches down just outside of Heesville. And it, there was wet grass, uh, which is going to, of course, uh, cause there to be a lack of friction to slow down the, uh, the glider and it ended up slamming into a hedgerow uh, probably at about 50 miles an hour and uh, General Pratt's neck snapped from the, the whiplash on the impact. Uh, the pilot was injured and uh, the, the co-pilot was also killed. And if we come around here, well, we can see a few artifacts that were recovered from the crash site by locals and other soldiers. So if you look right here, at this briefcase, you can see the name Lieutenant Lee J. May. Uh, this was the aide-de-camp to the general. Uh, he was sitting behind General Pratt, and inside this there would have been like top secret documents and things like that. Uh, and then right here, well, we can see some of the wreckage from the crash that was collected by locals, um, you know, in, in, in the years after the crash. Uh, and then one other thing that they have here uh, if we look, well, here is a manifest for the glider that General Pratt was in. Uh, and on it, we can see General Pratt's name, also the name of his aide-de-camp, and then uh, also the, the places where they were sitting in the glider. But yeah, something else to see all of this. All right, well, that was a uh, little bit on uh, General Pratt and the crash that occurred on D-Day and some of the relics from the Gettysburg Museum of History and some from uh, right here at the D-Day Experience right here in Normandy.